everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Satoshi Sean. Glad you're here. Uh, if it's your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Uh, I try to get out three to five videos a week um, or more. Uh, it just depends. Um, also, you crush that like button. Really appreciate it. it helps me out. Um, I do a couple shows a week uh, that are kind of regular. The weekend wrap up do uh, every weekend. Um, also on the uh, do a show on Friday with my buddy Kiff from uh, uh, the Irishman from Kiff's Crypto, um, and uh, the other Irishman from Mad Crypto he does TA. Also do the uh, crypto lunch break a couple times a week. Um, that's usually noon uh, central central U.S. time. Um, the weekend wrap up is usually twelve to or one on the uh, on the weekends. Also, remember to comment on all the videos uh, on my uh, on my page for the week, and then I do my big giveaway uh, of crypto, usually uh, uh, Divi or Ethereum, on uh, on the weekend wrap up, and I I pick uh, someone who commented randomly on all the videos for the week, and then put that into a wheel and uh, and spin that, and the winner wins every week. All right. Um, <clears throat> With uh, with that out of the way, let's uh, talk about what I wanted to to go over today. Um, I was approached by Project Crypto Enter, and they asked me to take a look at their uh, at their project. It's not new; it's pretty old. Uh, it's going on four years old, so it's it's basically ancient when it comes to to the crypto world. Um, it's something that I really like. If you follow my channel, you know that I like uh, kind of ecosystems. Um, I think 2018, 2019 was uh, kind of the building of these crypto ecosystems where they're trying to get a, a lot of things into one platform. Um, and it's something that uh, that Crypto Enter, it's a very apropos name, has done. Uh, let's head over to the site. So this is Crypto Enter. Um, it's an award-winning uh, project. They are trying to develop a kind of a banking ecosystem. Um, now it is a blockchain project, you know, kind of hybrid um, because it's built on the uh, Hyperledger, it uses Hyperledger technology um, along with blockchain. So basically blockchain is the, the storage for the data. It's a, uh, you know, still an immutable letter, ledger, all that. But the validation or the validators aren't done by miners. The validation is done by the uh, hyperledger. Uh, so that's it's it's faster. Um, hyperledger doesn't uh, my, with mining um, the incentive is for the miner to make money. So usually uh, the transactions with the highest gas amount get taken first, and they can kind of pick and choose. With a hyperledger, it's not like that. It's everything. Everything's all uh, all the same level, um, so it is a little bit quicker. Now, there's Smart Block Labs, which is partnered with IBM, and also with uh, what is it? With Linux. Um, now they've been since February 2018. They're a Linux Silver member. Um, now they're also this project is also the first. Um, interbank payment service that's built on Hyperledger. Uh, right. So they're trying to do a lot of stuff. We, we got notes here. So banking with a connection um, for fiat and a fiat on ramp. They're going to do payments, which is interesting, which I'm going to hit on. Um, it was for like ATMs online and actual brick and mortar uh, stores, which there are still some of those. Um, and with how they're going to utilize that is what I think is really cool. Uh, brokerage services, uh, P2P lending, which is pretty cool. Uh, you know, lenders can, you could be from a place where money is basically cheap uh, as far as interest rates and things like that. Loan money to uh, people in places where interest rates is astronomical, like parts of Africa and, and, th and so, so on. You, so you'd be charging a lower interest rate than they would be able to get there. But you'd be getting much more of a higher interest rate than you would be able to get in your locale. Um, brokerage services, 
Um, they have a single wallet that has over 2,000 cryptos and multiple fiat currencies. Uh, exchange trading and issuance of stable coins or, and NFTs that kind of go together where you can create uh, an NFT or stable coin, link that stable coin to an asset like your gold or, or, uh, or as an NFT to your business and then sell, sell those similar to stock. It's anything that you can sell on the uh, Chicago Stock Exchange. Uh, or no, London Stock Exchange, you could sell on a, here with the NFT. So that's that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, where are we going to? Payments. Um, instant payments, also because it's, it's the validation is on the Hyperledger, those instant payments are much, much quicker than even some of the fastest uh, blockchains out there. Uh, for services with fiat or cryptocurrency, integration with shops, connect retail stores, and accept payment for goods and services. Also, the thing that I think is cool is when a brick and mortar shop comes into this ecosystem, they basically become like a like a bank or a, a financial services um, hub. Kind of like if you go into a, a Walmart or a store and they have like a like a little banking center, a place you can cash your checks, and that they become something like that. You can pay for your goods but you can also get cash back you can um even without an atm you, you'll be able to like pay over and get money back um and utilize other financial services also for for loans and things like that a lot of these shops can uh, validate your information um to the ecosystem like your id and that kind of stuff and who you are uh which is pretty cool um, exchange and trade, reliable high-speed stock exchange from the London Stock Exchange Group, providing operation of a crypto enter exchange uh, messenger. This is to pay for purchases like uh, like on Messenger. Um, I'll go down and find out what what the what is it? M-Pesa. That's who they use for that. Um, bank operations uh, transfer cryptocurrency or fiat currency. Um, to other users and uh, enter cross border, not enter cross border. Um, and the currency exchange, instant conversions of values and given rate throughout uh, the exchange operation with a bank. Um, so the users, transactions through smart contracts, plus um, they can issue. Uh, their own digital tokens, which is like I was talking about issue. You can issue a a token that's linked to an asset. So it's technically a stable coin. Um, if you have a, a business and you own like a bunch of uh, a commodity, you can link those uh, stable coins or they technically are NFTs to those items and investors can buy them and invest in your business that way. Uh, transactions through smart contracts plus quick issue of their own digital tokens. Exchange, complete toolkit um, for the sale of trade and all values. Banks, earning on assistance and lending between users plus income from exchange transactions. Like I said, those those businesses or, uh, or shops that uh, come into the ecosystem, they can become little financial service hubs um, or little mini banks within the uh, – the crypto winner uh, ecosystem, which I think is really cool. Um, and you join, you can become your own bank and all that. So they're member of the SWIFT and SEPA. So they have North America and the EU. They're partnering up with Visa, MasterCard, and American Express. I went over the MPSA, which is the uh, mobile phone based money transfer. Um, also, Metro Financial Advisor. You should always do your own research. Head over to cryptoenter.com and you can uh, look over everything and join up. Um, they do have here down here the Telegram, Facebook, Twitter. They have a YouTube channel with a lot of videos, but all the videos are here. If you click on video, it takes you here where you can watch all the videos. They're short and they're very, very, very good explanations. Okay, so CryptoEnter is a blockchain infrastructure uh, for digital banking with a decentralized financial marketplace, which has been created on this basis. Uh, goals, uh, launch the blockchain infrastructure, which has been done. March and April, uh, launch the 
crypto enter exchange, um, start to connect payment agents and crypto enter expansion on the market of Japan, US and other countries in Africa. Which I think this is gonna be huge in, in Africa uh, as well as South America. November, December of 2021, so a year, we are going to launch the financial products on the blockchain infrastructure for digital banking, crypto under loan, secured by cryptocurrencies, inclusion of agreements with collateral, conclusions of double transactions with collateral between counterparties. I think that's P2P lending. Uh, and then January of 2022, um, platforms for creating and modeling blockchain economy on the Rubicon blockchain. Uh, that's about it. There's some stuff here from the CEO where I want to get to. Okay, the bank. It just laid out the infrastructure of how the bank works, like the KYC and all that. That can be done through those little banking hubs or those little mini, uh, uh, basically the stores. And you could have a, a bodega. You can go in there and buy your big gulp and do, do your banking all right there. Uh, get a loan, uh, do a loan. Um, brokerage services all through API. They have uh, it's all set up. They have I think there's a link here to the API for you to get it set up. Um, all goes through the single wallet. So if you're a, a shop or a retailer, you can incorporate the wallet right into. Uh, there's a button right in there to pay for your goods. It looks really cool. Offline shopping. Um, they have a point of sale terminal. At point of sale terminal, you can pay with your mobile phone. Also, that would give people access to the uh, to the banking network, as well as utilizing ATMs um, from them. And yeah, there's the API for crypto winner right there. Um, let me see if I missed anything. Partner with IBM, almost four years old. They were going. Oh, their token's called the Lion Token. Um, you can get it on Uniswap down here is all the information on it. Um, you can just click on purchase token and it takes you over there to get that. It is the, uh, it's a utility interbank, uh, usage DeFi and for cross-border transfers. Um, what is that right now? It's 1,415 per one ETH. So that's a difficult math problem. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, Crypto Winner, it's in beta right now. Um, the, or was it the, yeah. They've been working on the tech before they worked on a lot of the promotion. They're really just getting started as far as the uh, moving into the, uh, well, they're in beta. Um, as far as moving into the, the product space. But they've been working on it and developing this for three and a half years now. Um, which is, there's a lot to be said for that. It looks cool. looks interesting. I'm going to be, I'm going to be following this. Um, I'm probably going to get some of these lions, uh, just personally, once again, not financial advice, not your financial advisor, head over there to, uh, cryptoowner.com. I'll leave the link in the description and check it out. If you have any questions or comments, hit me in the comment section below, head over to the telegram and get to know them. That's about it. I'm so Sean. It was good seeing you and hanging out with you. I'll see you all in the next video.